What does it take to become a true American hero? Could one man's decision on the battlefield change the course of history and save countless lives? Today, we're counting down the top five Medal of Honor recipients, stories not only of courage, but of unimaginable sacrifice. Welcome to Military Recon, where we march into the most intense and dramatic stories from military history and modern warfare. Before we deploy, make sure to subscribe, lock in the notification bell for updates, and sound off in the comments below. Now gear up and let's get started. These heroes faced death head on in the most intense, terrifying conditions, refusing to back down when all seemed lost. From the mountains of Afghanistan to the blood-soaked battlefields of World War II, these soldiers didn't just win battles, they defined what it means to be a hero. But stay with us, because the number one hero's story will send chills down your spine. Let's dive into these incredible acts of valor that will never be forgotten. Our journey begins with Corporal Dakota Meyer of the United States Marine Corps at number five. Born in Kentucky in 1988, Meyer was raised with a strong sense of duty and patriotism. He joined the Marine Corps in 2006 and was deployed to Iraq before his fateful mission in Afghanistan in 2009. It was September 8, 2009, in the unforgiving terrain of Afghanistan's Kunar province. Insurgents lurked in every shadow, and Meyer's fellow Marines were pinned down, surrounded by enemy fire. Can you imagine the terror of hearing your brothers in arms being overrun knowing you've been ordered to stay back? But Dakota Meyer couldn't stay back. He defied that order, got into a gun truck, and charged into the firefight not once, but five times. For six hours, he rescued his comrades under relentless enemy fire, saving 13 soldiers and recovering the bodies of four more. Meyer's actions were not just about following orders. It was about refusing to leave anyone behind. After the battle, he continued serving, but struggled with the emotional scars of war. His bravery earned him the Medal of Honor in 2011, but Dakota Meyer's service extended beyond the battlefield. Today, he continues to advocate for veterans' mental health and support for military families. His life after service shows that true heroism doesn't end when the battle is over. Next at number four, we have Lieutenant Michael Murphy of the U.S. Navy SEALs, whose story is one of chilling sacrifice. Born in New York in 1976, Murphy grew up with a deep respect for service and leadership. His friends and family remember him as someone who always stood up for others, even as a young boy. After graduating from Penn State, Murphy was determined to serve his country, joining the Navy and quickly rising to become a SEAL. In 2005, deep in Afghanistan, Murphy's SEAL team, part of Operation Red Wings, was ambushed, surrounded by insurgents. Pinned down with no chance of survival, Murphy knew there was only one way to save his team. He had to expose himself to enemy fire to make a call for reinforcements. Imagine standing tall in a hail of bullets, knowing each second might be your last. Yet Murphy, calm and determined, completed the call despite being shot multiple times. His final word on the radio? Thank you. He gave his life to save his brothers and his courage was immortalized in the movie Lone Survivor. However, the film only scratches the surface of the man Michael Murphy was. He was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor in 2007, and a Navy destroyer, the USS Michael Murphy, was named in his honor. His legacy continues to inspire generations of Navy SEALs and Americans who learn of his sacrifice. At number three is Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone, a Marine Corps legend from World War II. Born in Buffalo, New York in 1916, Bassalone came from a large Italian-American family. Before joining the Marines, he served in the U.S. Army, but later re-enlisted with the Marines for World War II. In 1942, during the brutal Battle of Guadalcanal, Bassalone's unit was overrun by waves of Japanese soldiers. His machine gun crew was cut down, but Bassalone kept fighting, manning two machine guns until their barrels were red hot. When the ammo ran out, he charged into hand-to-hand -hand combat taking down the enemy with a pistol and a knife. His heroics were more like a scene from a horror film than real life. But for Bassalone, it was just another night at war. His actions on Guadalcanal earned him the Medal of Honor, and he became a national hero. Despite his fame, Bassalone requested to return to the front lines, where he fought and tragically died during the Battle of Iwo Jima 
in 1945. His leadership and refusal to stand down, even after being honored, demonstrated his deep commitment to his fellow Marines. John Bass alone's story continues to inspire Marines today, and he remains a symbol of courage and selflessness. Number two brings us to Sergeant Alvin C. York, a reluctant hero of World War I. Born in rural Tennessee in 1887, York grew up in a devout Christian household and initially opposed violence. When the U.S. entered World War I, York, a pacifist, struggled with the decision to fight but eventually realized that defending his country was a moral duty. In 1918, deep in enemy territory, York found himself ambushed by a German machine gun nest. With his comrades pinned down, York single-handedly took out 25 enemy soldiers and captured 132 more. Armed with nothing but his rifle and faith, he became a legend in one of the deadliest wars in history. York's actions helped break the German line, and though he never sought fame, his story became a symbol of what one man's courage can achieve in the face of overwhelming odds. After the war, York returned home to Tennessee, where he devoted himself to helping others, founding a school for underprivileged children and advocating for veterans. His post-war life reflected the humility that made him not just a hero, but a man of principle. Stand by, because right after this, we'll tackle the question that's been on your mind since the beginning. To stay sharp on military stories like these, make sure to subscribe to Military Recon and lock in that notification bell. And now for our number one hero, Audie Murphy, the most decorated American soldier of World War II. Born in Texas in 1925, Murphy grew up in extreme poverty and enlisted in the U.S. Army at the age of 17 after lying about his age. His determination to serve was driven by a desire to support his family and fight for his country. In January 1945, during the frozen chaos of France, Murphy's unit was decimated and the Germans were advancing. Most men would have retreated, but not Audie Murphy. Wounded and exhausted, he climbed onto a burning tank destroyer and manned a 50 caliber machine gun, holding off 250 German soldiers and six tanks. The flames were licking at his feet, gunfire all around him. Yet for an hour, Murphy held his ground, saving his unit and forcing the Germans to retreat. His Medal of Honor was only one of many awards, but behind the accolades was a man haunted by what he had seen. Audie Murphy later became a Hollywood star, playing himself in the story of his life. But no movie could capture the true heroism and sacrifice of that day. His struggles with post-traumatic stress disorder after the war highlighted the toll that combat can take on even the most heroic individuals. Murphy's life after service was marked by advocacy for veterans, particularly those suffering from the hidden wounds of war. His legacy as both a soldier and an advocate remains an enduring symbol of the sacrifices made by those who serve. These are the heroes who faced impossible odds and emerged victorious, not for medals or recognition, but for the men fighting beside them. Their actions changed the course of battles, saved countless lives and left legacies that will endure forever. Who do you think should have made this list? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible stories of heroism and sacrifice. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this mission. We'll be back with more hard-hitting content right here on Military Recon. Stay mission ready and we'll see you in the next briefing.